You want to trade like a hedge fund. You want to realize the massive benefits that come from trading a diversified portfolio of automated trading strategies. But you might have questions about how you can best diversify your portfolio. How should you think about adding strategies that zig when other strategies zag? And what are the best new strategies to add to an existing portfolio? Today, we're going to talk about all of that. We're going to talk about the massive diversification benefits you get from running systematic trading strategies, especially in commodity markets. And we're going to be talking about the number one simple tool that you can use to analyze the diversification benefits of your different strategies. So strategy diversification, let's get into it. Hi everyone, it's Dave Wickham from Peak Trading Research in Geneva, Switzerland. My goal is to make you a more profitable trader with commodity market insights and real systematic trading strategies. And a big part of being a successful systematic trader is knowing how to analyze and maximize the diversification benefits of your portfolio. What is diversification? Diversification is an incredibly important part of money and asset management. Modern portfolio theory states that any investment any trading systems, risk and return characteristics shouldn't be viewed in isolation, but rather how it affects the overall portfolio's risk and return. And how can you create a portfolio, so a basket of assets and strategies that gives you the highest return with the lowest level of risk? That's diversification, finding strategies that zig when other strategies zag. And Harry Markowitz, who famously won a Nobel Prize for his work on modern portfolio theory stated that in finance, diversification is the only free lunch. So diversification is a really powerful tool. It's a tool that I have spent a lot of my career thinking about. My first job out of college was working for a consultant that advised endowments and foundations and pension funds on what mix of assets they should use to best maximize their risks and returns. I then worked for Cargill, the big private American agriculture company. There pension and endowment fund to do some of the same analysis around maximizing risk and return. I have my chartered financial analyst designation, a big part of which is portfolio analysis. And finally, I've worked for two commodity trading funds where I spent a lot of time thinking about how to maximize returns across a basket of different commodity markets. So I have spent a good part of my life thinking about diversification and what a powerful tool it is. So let's jump into it. Let's talk about the number one tool for analyzing and maximizing the diversification benefits of your systematic trading portfolio. And that is a simple correlation matrix. A correlation matrix, the type we'll go through here in a few minutes, is a great foundation, a powerful tool for you to do your diversification analysis. So let's build a simple correlation matrix together. Now, I've gotten a lot of questions recently via YouTube and via email from people who have signed up for our P. 10 trading systems asking about the diversification benefits of those different systematic trading strategies. So as an example, today we're going to be looking at the returns from the 10 different systematic trading strategies from our May 2022 peak 10 package. So in Excel, we have the weekly returns for all of the peak 10 May 2022 monthly strategies here. We also have the returns for the total peak 10 portfolio, as well as the weekly returns for the S&P 500, bonds, crude oil, and the BCOM commodity index. Now to analyze the correlation between two of our strategies, our Bigfoot strategy and our heat wave strategy, both in heating oil, we can simply write this equation. What is the correlation going back some 500 different rows, so back 10 years of weekly data between Bigfoot and heat wave weekly returns. And you can see here, we get a positive correlation, a positive 0.49 correlation between Bigfoot and Heatwave weekly returns. Now, correlation is a measurement that runs from zero to one on the positive side and from zero to negative one on the negative side. Now, as a simple rule of thumb, a correlation from zero to 0.25 is a small positive, 0.25 to 0.75 is moderately positive, 
positive and 0.75 and up is strongly positive, meaning those two assets or those two trading systems really move in tandem. There's not much diversification from them if they're strongly positively correlated. For the best diversification benefits, you want to avoid trading systems that are strongly positively correlated and look for trading systems that are strongly negatively correlated if possible. Now let's build out our correlation matrix to include correlations across all of these different trading systems, as well as the correlations between the trading systems and the S&P 500, bonds, crude oil, and commodities. So this is our final formatted correlation matrix. There's a few things worth pointing out. The first thing we'll notice is that there is not a lot of green in this correlation matrix. That's a good thing. That means that there's not a lot of positively correlated trading systems. In fact, Bigfoot and Heatwave, both of which are breakout strategies in the same market in heating oil, are the only two markets that show real positive correlations to one another at 0.049. Everything else shows either very weak correlations or in fact negative correlations. For example, Cobra Kai, which is a silver strategy, shows some nice negative correlations, suggesting it is the best strategy at diversifying the portfolio. And a final thing I want to note is that there are low correlations for each of these strategies to the S&P 500, to bonds, to crude oil commodities, those macro indices. And there's also negative correlations to those macro indices for the whole trading portfolio. This is a good thing. So this simple correlation matrix tells us a whole lot about these strategies. Not only are the strategies not correlated to one another, except for those two heating oil breakout strategies, but as a basket, they're also showing low, in fact, negative correlations to macro indices like the S&P and bond and commodity markets. Now, intuitively, this makes a lot of sense. All of these strategies are based on different markets, different bar sizes, different strategy code. They really don't have a lot in common. It makes sense that a breakout strategy in heating oil is gonna move differently than a volatility strategy in Kansas wheat and differently than a Bollinger Band strategy in the feeder cattle market. These strategies are all moving in very different ways. Some are zigging, some are zagging, some are making money, some are losing money. And we can see that mathematically via this correlation matrix. We see very low or in fact negative correlations across most of these strategies. Now this speaks to one of the powerful advantages of systematic trading, especially systematic trading in commodity markets. If you're watching this video, there's a good chance that you have a retirement account or a brokerage account that probably has some stocks and bonds in it. Systematic trading across commodity markets is not only a great way to generate positive returns, but it also generates exceptional diversification benefits against stocks and bonds that you already own. Now, there's a whole lot more that you can do here in terms of diversification analysis. You could use daily returns instead of weekly returns. You could create a portfolio of just three strategies and see the diversification benefits of adding a fourth and a fifth and a sixth against that portfolio to decide which strategy should you trade next. But as a starting point, as a foundation upon which you can do additional diversification analysis, nothing beats a simple correlation table. Now, if you want this formatted correlation table where you can just paste in your weekly returns from any automated trading system, send me an email, insight at peaktradingresearch.com. I will send it to you. So I hope this helped you think about the diversification benefits of running systematic trading strategies. You now know how to use a correlation matrix to analyze your current portfolio and make decisions around adding additional strategies to your existing portfolio. Good luck trading, stay diversified. We'll see you soon.